This is Deuce Loosely, the devil's favorite advocate, and no, I am not making any attempt to sound scary or foreboding or whatever or monstrous. This is actually how my voice sounds today. Uh, for the past week, uh, I'd say for the past few days anyway, my uh, throat has been doing weird things, this um, not being the least of them. So I'm going to keep this really short. Um, I did manage to more or less watch Raw. I did pay attention to the parts that bore paying attention to. The parts that didn't pay that didn't merit paying attention to added up to about two hours and eleven minutes. There were a whole sixty two minutes of action in those three hours and thirteen minutes this week. However, you know, one or two interesting things came out of it. Um, it, uh, it is apparent that Bray Wyatt is calling out The Undertaker. We don't need a translator to figure out what he's getting at with this last promo. Also, um, if you've been paying attention to Twitter lately, you know that uh, Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler have been trading back and forth. Ziggler was actually the one who initiated the idea that he start a program with Daniel Bryan, and Debray um, answered back simply by saying, I'm in. So you can expect the program from those two in the near to intermediate future. Most certainly, you'll probably see them do a match at WrestleMania. But, you know, as you can probably guess, that's going to take Daniel Bryan out of the title picture. And speaking of the title picture, um, it's kind of confusing just a little bit. I mean, yeah, everybody's going around going, yeah, it's going to be Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. But, you know, it's it's still, there's still, you know, an X factor or two out there that just might possibly change that. It's not all black and white or cut and dried as it might seem. And I will concede that much. So, <clears throat> anyway, um, TNA Lockdown is tonight, as I am recording on uh, Friday evening, uh, February 6th. So, um, right now I'm kind of missing it, but I've got it on DVR, so that should count for the ratings. Um, apparently, from what I've heard, DVR recordings do count for ratings, so, meh. Anyway, um, I'm anxious to see Lockdown. I'm even more anxious to see TNA's um, UK tour. I'm anxious to see the uh, shows that they've put together. I've been hearing nothing but good reviews about these shows. They've been playing in front of anywhere up to like 4,000 or so people per show, which is a good thing. And you know, not everything can be big in America. It's good that they are big somewhere, and the UK is just as good a place as any to have your name out there and to have it mean something. Um, it actually means more to the UK, TNA actually means more to the UK than WWE in a lot of places, so there's that, but anyway, rather than torture you anymore with my voice, I'm going to stop now, and um, well, I'm going to hope you guys are having a better night than I am, because uh, yeah, I'm just going to shut up and give it a rest, so um, next week... Um, I should be better, you know, it should be more clear, my voice should be back to somewhat normal, and um, I won't go meandering so much, so there you have it, I'll talk to y'all next week, l'chayim.